Hello, welcome to the channel. I managed to survive the evening at the mother-in-law's while the kids had a party in this house. I left them to it. I think where I left off yesterday, I was actually sorting out this Amazon bag over here. In fact, take a look. So after the scart lead incident the other day when I couldn't find a scart lead, but I knew I had one somewhere. So I've just got this Amazon bag absolutely full of wires and power supplies for Xboxes and all sorts of stuff. I've decided today is the day. I'm just going to start sorting it now. I wrote that with one hand to write, so back off me. I know everyone uses one hand to write, but I mean, this was leaning against. The box was moving, and I was, shut up. I'm going to sort through Xbox and PlayStation, and I've got a little bundle in there for power supplies, and just start getting through this box and organising it so I can sell off all the spares, put all the wires with the consoles I've got, and then get a nice little backlog of things that I know where they are if I want to need them. Just wanted to document that so I can add it into a video, so then you know. So as you'll see, I actually managed to get through quite a bit. These two back... These two back boxes are Nintendo stuff, mainly Wii. PlayStation, Xbox, didn't get too much of that. We've got tons of power bricks down here. And I actually managed to start testing some consoles that I've got, which are just at the back here. Did all that before I left the mother-in-laws. So I actually managed to get quite a bit of work done. Oh, and I've also separated lots of controllers i know that peaks after a silver one so hopefully if i've got a silver i don't think i have oh i have a silver sony controller i'll test that one out if i have to put that to one side pete you might be lucky and go from there managed to get a little bit of work done once the amazon box is sorted out there's loads of money's worth in there but also have a bit of space however i have just been to the range picked up some boxes two more 80 liters so i can actually have a p and an s no a p and an r Anyway, I bought some boxes and I bought a chunk of batteries, some C's, some 9V's, some double A's, because I've got some bits over there that need testing. And I also treated myself to a lovely new bin, because that's how fancy I am. However, I've just taken a look at the receipt and 13.38, I didn't think anything of the price. I didn't know what I was paying to, honestly, but I didn't even think about that. Just pay yet, yeah, cool. I've just looked and if you look here, Battery, battery, basket, battery, battery. They haven't charged me for the tubs. And I like to call that one of life's little blessings. Like, do I go back and say, you didn't charge me, let me pay you morally, maybe, yes. But can I be bothered to drive 15 miles to go and do that? No. And then in another two months when I'm back that way in town again and I pop in, are they going to care? No. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to chalk that one up to a little bit of good luck. But that's not the only place I went to. I just popped into the charity shop. Here's a little clip. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, we're all right. Yeah. Hello, Squire. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Good, good, you're right. Hello, good morning. How are you? Yeah, all good, Tar. Been busy, busy today. Oh my, what a strange plant. Oh my, that's my size, that's annoying. USA well, 2019. Oh, it's probably a genuine merch one, yeah, but it's only a reproduced. But I like that. Life is pain, it is. Less than a tenner and I'll buy it. Hello, five quid. Still might have to for that. Got her in off of that. Nice to find. Away you go. I'm gonna get a basket. It's not often you find that kind of stuff in the Chazza, is it? I love finding retro bits like that. Beautiful. I'm going to test it out in the next half an hour or so. I've, I've had barely any sleep. I went upstairs, tried to sleep, couldn't because I had three parcels in the back of the car. Sort of kept thinking about. So I just got dropped. They had to be dropped off today, otherwise I'd get a ding. 
So I've just laid there, laid there, tossing and turning, jumped in the car, dropped the parcels off. And now I'm awake, so now I'm doing this video is what my point was. Five pound paid for a black official Nintendo GameCube controller. They sell for about $19.99 to $24.99, depending what's around on the market. And also, yes, you would have seen on the Instagram, found a scout lead, so I'm gonna test that VCR, not on camera, I can't bother, I'll do an update on that another time. I can't bother to do it today. Shit, I've lost myself, what was I doing? Charity shop, GameCube. Yeah, I picked up some other bits, I picked up that, and this, I've got no idea if it's worth anything or not, but it just looks like one of those things that is either going to be 20 quid or nothing. It's a CD lifter by Thomas Larson. So it's like a little ball, a little bubble of air. You push down on it and it sucks the CD so you haven't got to get fingerprints all over it. It's either going to be really good or really shite. That's the family back. What was my point? As I was saying to you, I picked up a few bits and one of them was this T-shirt. Now, the question is, I'll have to stop. I'll come back to you because they're just going to f***ing disturb me, aren't they? As I was saying. <laughs> this is a... I paid £5 for this one. They get the tag out because some of you don't believe what I do, do you? Oh, you big faker. Shut up. There we go. £5 paid. So I walked in there, said to the manager, do us a favour, stick some, stick some price tags on some good stuff for you, Maria. This is a Rolling Stones 2019 tour t-shirt. Cool, isn't it? Pretty snazzy. But it gets better. Because this one is, in fact, a cactus plant flea market collaboration. Now, some of you might remember the cactus plant flea market collaboration with Nike, where they did that kind of bougie Nike design. The whole idea is to make it look very, like, I can't describe it. But anyway, cactus plant flea market are quite sought after. Some of their prices can be very, very good. I particularly love this t-shirt's design love 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 it i think it's amazing i'd wear that all day long but i can't wear it because it just commands too much money for me to, to justify keeping it doing a little bit of research quite quickly i think i can get between 55 to 150 pound depending on what's available at the market this one has a little bit of an advantage it is in immaculate condition and it's an extra large it's a nice big size so of course i may have just said 55 to 150 and it might get nowhere near that. It'll definitely get the 55 mark. But also, this could be the only one on the market. This could be the only one on the market. So what I'll do is I'll give the market value a good check, see what's listed, see what isn't, see which ones are available, see what the current solds are, and go from there. But that is a pretty decent pickup. Very nice. If I didn't need the money, I'd keep it. Need the dough. What else were there? I'm actually quite intrigued about this Tommy Larson thing. Let me do a bit of research quickly. Yeah, it's not worth much, or at least it wasn't. One listed for 44 in Ukraine, one listed for 28 somewhere else, and one sold for nine quid in the last three years. But I quite like that. As a CD handler, somebody who handles games and stuff could probably find quite a good bit of use on that. I'm going to give you a demo. So this is all it is, like a little contraption like this. You press the little ball of air down. I'm guessing, I'm not that this is the first time doing it. Push it down, put it over the disc, let go. It's a crap disc in there, see how strong it is. <clears throat> that is very strong. I'm sure I could really get it to come off if I wanted to. Cool bit of kit. Like it. Will I ever use it though? Probably not. I'm gonna leave the film in here, but the video is not done. Let's go check out some sales. Holy moly. You are a big boy, aren't you? <laughs> Jesus, what is that? I know it's a spider, you dicks. So it is, in fact, the next day. I told you this was going to be over a few days. It's currently 10.47 and I woke up at 10 past 10. What an absolute disgrace. I've not been sleeping very well, so you have to allow me that. Starting off on Vinted. You've seen what it houses. <laughs> that was a fat boy, man. £34.94 and pence. cost me £2.50, sold the other one for 35 quid. So £5 I paid for the pair, £70 in sales, both on Vinted. Beautiful. This is still cheap for what it is as well. If you had this little hat and you had this little collar, I'd have sucked out about 80 quid from this. Hugo Boss Beige Chinos sold for £10 on Vinted. I know I keep showing you these little bag things, but I haven't got the original pictures anymore. 
and I always forget to do screenshots. But then again, you just have to trust me. Why would I lie? I've got nothing to prove. That's all for Vinted, moving straight over to eBay. Currently going through a bit of turmoil over action cameras. I want to change my camera. I'm looking at the DJI Action 2. It's got a nice little module, but it needs extra pieces to make it last very long. You don't get long if you record on it. I was also looking at the Osmo Action 5, which is going to be out soon or just released or will be released soon or hasn't quite come out yet. So the Action 4 is available. The Action 4 is quite good, looks decent. Do you know what I mean? My mind is in turmoil. Any suggestions on decent action cameras smaller the better with decent battery life i will be very grateful for some recommendations on the comment section down below 12 pounds all in is the manchester united money box that i picked up from the car boots i paid four pounds sold it for 12 pound on ebay so fees and postage to come off of that the rory McIlroy head cover has sold oh that reminds me i've sold some of those scotty camerons as well or snotty camerons shall we say i'll pick those in a minute just reminded me that was all. This is from the same bundle. Paid £20 for everything. Sold loads of stuff now. £34.99. In fact, I think it was on an offer. £33.18. £42.74 is the Seat like wind rain jacket. Seat Sport. Size small. Brand new with tags. I bought this six months ago when the car boot sales first came back open again. Jeez. Didn't realise it was that high. When the first car boot sales came back open again. I only listed it the other day, and obviously it sold straight away. I've got so much stuff that I haven't listed yet. But I don't mind that. 42.74, if I didn't say. I bought that with the silver fox hat that I've got. Not this one. £14 and 15 pence for another pack of these Tekken character cards. I don't have many left now. Going out quite nicely. I'm thinking my price is either too good or just because there isn't any listed. From that massive gaming bundle deal that I did. Transformers G1. Apparently, this is Ultra Magnus What Optimus Prime. I don't know. I just copied somebody's listing. Sold it for £8 free postage. Cheap. £11.39. £39. £11.39 for these BT Xenon bundle. Still got half of the charity shop sticker on there. But um, just moving them on. They wasn't selling, so I reduced loads of stuff. Reduced, reduced, reduced. And a set of three. I'm just going to show you one because I can't be asked to pull them all out. A set of three number four Stanley Wood planes. They've either got pieces missing or they need restoring or they've got cracks in the wood. I sold them all. £24.99. It's going to cost me £5 to ship that because of the weight of them all. There's three of them. I'm happy to clear them out. Now for some snotty Cameron. I don't know where they are now. Damn, because I've moved everything. Basically, some of you remember I had... This is what I'm going to list today at some point. I need to go to the post office and get loads of change because it's Friday. and I've got Saturday car boots and Sunday car boots. I had A, B, C, D, E, F because I had gaps. I went out yesterday and brought a P and an R. <laughs> I'm such a child and now I've got A, B, C, D, E, F G, H, I, J, K, L M, N, O, P, Q, R Shut the fuck up and get the camera and stuff So the Scotty Cameron bundle that I picked up from the car boot sale that I thought I was going to have over a thousand pounds worth of sales on I've done a lot of research with groups and friends and people that I know and people from my past life have popped up again Big thank you to Christopher I don't know if you watch the videos or not anymore but he helped me massively sent it off to, to a few people and I've done my own research and my own digging on forums and oh, just it just took over my life for two days. So the result of it all is we think this one is going to be real, which means we can flog that one off for a nice bit of dosh. Yeah, we think this one is going to be all right, which is about over 100 quid. But unfortunately, probably the most expensive bunch of the lot, the caution tapes. And the Louisiana, so the 2013 and the 2015s, I think that's when they were released, we believe to be copies. But there was always a market, and there's always somebody that's going to want them, because they are very high quality head covers regardless. Take away what they're supposed to be, regardless, they are cool AF, and they're very, very high quality, very well made, regardless. So, I've, I've managed to sell some. So massive, massive, massive thank you to the adequate golfer. He's picked these up. He knows exactly what they are. He knows they're not legitimate. He's not being done over. If anything, he might be doing me over. Imagine if they turn out to be real. I don't care if they are. They're not. I'm very sure they're not. I'm 99% sure they're not real. <laughs> but I don't really care. So I paid whatever I paid. I paid £20 for everything. I made loads of sales already. He said his handicap's gone up three shots this week anyway. So he's got to look good because he ain't playing good. Oh, he also left another message saying, just make sure you are clear that I know exactly what I'm getting and I don't think you're in the black game in any way. Yeah, he knows what he's getting. So I believe your name's Brian, actually, off the top of my head. But I'm pretty sure it is. 
Brian, massively appreciate you, mate. He's paid £65 to take these off my hands. Free postage, of course. I think, I think, that, I think they're worth that all day long, regardless of what they are. So massively appreciate you, brother. Appreciate. I'm spinning slowly. You can't see it, boy. I'm spinning. Massively appreciate you, Brian. On the way to you shortly, mate. Yeah, but I think we think this one is going to be legit. I'll list that one later. And I think that is all of the sales. Let's draw the winner for that Porsche keyring. Okay, okay. Here we go. There's those planes. So we're going to put the video in as always. Anything goes. We're not going to do any old comment. Just any comment. 154 entrance. And the winner for the Porsche key ring is Mr. Dutch. Hope you get thousands for the mate. I didn't get thousands. I got £65 and maybe a couple of hundred for the other one. I appreciate you, brother. I think I've got you on Instagram, so I might be able to... You can get hold of me, actually. No, the whole idea is you're supposed to watch these videos and realise if you've won or not. Big up, brother. Contact me. You know my details. There you go, mate. You've won that little Porsche key ring. So I probably couldn't have gone to a better bloke. It loves all that cool and funky, quirky stuff. So with that, I'm going to head out because I need to pack this stuff, take it to the parcel shop, and then go to the post office and try and convince them to give me 10 tonnes of change for the car boot sales for the weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Massively appreciate you. And hopefully, I'll see you after a few car boot sale videos. See you in a bit. Good luck out there.